Venotomous can be opened by clicking the application launcher icon in the main launcher of the Android device. Once clicking the application icon, the user is brought to the sign-in screen where they're shown some information about the application as well as presented with a sign-in with Google button. When the sign-in with Google button is clicked, the user is given an option to log in with any of the accounts that are currently registered to their Android device. Once an account is selected, the user will be logged in and brought to the map where they can see their current location as well as posts that have been made and added to the application. To view one of the available video posts, the user can click on one of the launcher icons, which brings up the custom info window showing the views, stars, and a preview of the video. To view the video, the user is able to click on this info window, which then brings up the watch video screen. In the watch video screen, video post information is shown, also including a preview image, the views, the stars, the title, and the location that the video post was made. If this is still intriguing and the user wants to watch the video, they can click on the preview image, which will then bring up the play video activity and allow the video to be played for the user. In the case that the video displays inappropriate content, the Options menu provides a report option, and once clicked, the report activity is open, which shows minimal information of the video without the preview image, preventing the user from having to continue to view that inappropriate content. If the report button is clicked at this point, the user will be prompted with a forwardance to let them know that a reason for the report is required. Once the reason for the report is entered, The user is able to click the report button and then have the video reported, offering affordance that the report has gone through, and then brought back to the map screen. And this navigation prevents the user from needing to navigate back to the map on their own from a reported video. If the user wishes to make a post of their own, they can click on the floating action button with the video icon, which then brings them to an activity to create a new post, providing the user with an area to enter a title and a preview area which will show a preview of the video once it's captured. At this point, if the check button is clicked to submit the video, affordance is shown to provide the user with an understanding that they must record a video and title the video to submit a post to the map. To capture a video, the user is able to click on the video icon, which then brings up the built-in camera function. The user is then able to click on the record button, record a video, and then once the recording is finished, the user can accept and then see the preview image of the video that they've just captured. From there, a title must be entered. And then the user is able to make the post to the map, which will then show up at the location that they're currently located. And they're able to view that post, take a look at the further details of this post, and add a star to it if they like by clicking the star icon. If the user would like to search for a specific location in the map, the user can click the search icon, which then brings up the Google autocomplete activity where a search criteria can be entered. And we'll go ahead and put in Full Sail University. And once clicking on the location that they'd like to see, the map is then zoomed in so they can see the location that they clicked on. And we can see here Full Sail University. From there, if they'd like to go back to their current location, they can click on the current location button which brings them back to where they are currently in the map right now. The map markers are removed after two days to ensure current content throughout the application for every user. However, if the user would like to view their previous videos that are no longer shown on the map, they can click on the options menu, go to the My Videos option, where they are then brought to a screen that shows their email, the total views and stars they have accumulated, and a list of all the videos that they've posted in the past. If they wish to view one of these videos, all they have to do is click on the video in the list, which will bring them to the same watch screen that they're familiar with, where they can click on the preview to watch the video. The options menu in the My Videos activity allows the user to go to the settings activity. However, this activity can also be reached by the map by clicking on the options menu and going to the settings option from there. This user currently has notifications turned on. So we can see the icon in the top bar of the device, as well as the ongoing notification letting the user know that their location is currently being tracked, which is required by Android platform guidelines. The user does have the option to turn off the notifications, and if the settings activity is closed with the notifications off, we can see that the service has been stopped and the notification that their location is currently being tracked has disappeared. Going back to the settings, we can turn the notifications back on, 
and see that the service has again started to provide the user with new post notifications. Also on the settings activity, there's an options menu item to sign out, which turns off the notifications as the user signs out and brings them back to the sign in page, which then allows the user to sign in again using either the same or a different account. And then signing back into the app since the notifications are turned on at this point, we will see that the service has resumed and the new post notifications have been turned back on and the user's location is being tracked again. By tracking the user's location, the service is able to determine if new posts by other users have been made within a 10 mile area and present a notification based on that. By completely closing out the application, we can see that the notifications are still running and that the user's location is still being tracked. And this service is set to start on boot if notifications are enabled, allowing users to immediately start receiving notifications for new posts in their current area as soon as the device is booted. Now from another device logged in with a different account, I'm going to add a new post. And we can see that a notification is shown to show that a new post has been made. Now even though the application is closed, once clicking this post, and the user is either able to click the body of the post or the view button. The application is open and the map is then zoomed to the post and the info window opened for that post and therefore the user is easily able to view the post for which they've clicked the notification. As you can see here the application is completely closed. However with the service running and the notification available for the ongoing notifications the user is able to click on this notification to open the app and have them automatically signed into the current account at any time.